welcome back to my channel. So news dropped this week about Marilyn Manson being named as actress Evan Rachel Wood's abuser. And when this happened, I was actually in the middle of making another video, which was kind of questioning the silence around this case. Because although Evan didn't name her abuser until this week, she's still been talking about this publicly since 2016. My experience with domestic violence was this. A toxic mental, physical, and sexual abuse which started slow but escalated over time, including threats against my life, severe gaslighting and brainwashing, waking up to the man that claimed to love me raping what he believed to be my unconscious body. And the worst part, sick rituals of binding me up by my hands and feet to be mentally and physically tortured until my abuser felt I had proven my love for them. In this moment, while I was tied up in being beaten and being told unspeakable things, I truly felt like I could die, not just because my abuser said to me, I could kill you right now, but because in that moment I felt like I left my body and I was too afraid to run, he would find me. I froze, and it was as if I could see myself from the outside, and for the first time in months, I felt something, utter shame and despair. I had no idea what to do to change my situation, so I went numb, and soon I couldn't feel anything. I wasn't alive. My self-esteem and spirit were broken. And I guess it took an official name drop for people to really see the obvious. Since Evan's case has hit mainstream media, Manson has been dropped from several of his record labels, and Evan isn't alone. There are more women. And now, celebrities are also coming out and finally telling us the truth. Manson has been known to be violent towards bandmates and fans, to hold guns to people's heads, make mob boss-like threats to journalists, and voice murderous and violent fantasies about people to their face. He confesses as much in his book, people. Manson, in his defense, released the following statement. Obviously, my art and my life have long been magnets for controversy, but these recent claims about me are horrible distortions of reality. My intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. Regardless of how and why others are now choosing to misrepresent the past, that is the truth. Uh -huh. In other words, a well-crafted attempt to gaslight us all. It screams of his old 90s daytime TV interviews where he worked really, really hard to try and present an image of the poor bully kid who's just misunderstood but who's really intelligent and soft-spoken and kind despite his on-stage and, let's face it, off-stage antics. Well, here they are, Marilyn Manson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Madonna Wayne Gacy. And you call yourselves, you're Marilyn Manson because? Because that's my name. <laughs> Twiggy? Uh-huh. Mm. And Madonna Wayne Gacy. Yes. Uh, you're not going to help us understand the... Uh... Oh, you want to understand where the name came yeah. from? Yeah. Uh, I've always watched talk shows. I haven't got to watch yours very often, though. I watch more of the trashier ones, but... Uh... I found that Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson, about five years ago when I thought of this, were the two most memorable people from the 60s. And I thought it was interesting that things like talk shows put them on the same kind of celebrity status. And I thought uh, that uh, dichotomy of positive and negative, putting those two names together, uh, represented uh, what I had to say and what I was about. This is the ploy that all goths with NPD use. And trust me. I would know. Oh, shudder! The truth is, his fans have been duped. And he's still trying to manipulate you. Wake up. And to everyone saying there's no evidence and these are just allegations. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, people. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. It's so sad that Evan didn't have anyone in her life to tell her that when she really needed to hear it. My heart goes out to her. And while ordinarily I'm vehemently against cancel culture, it's a little too late, isn't it? Ha! I would have said, vote with your dollar. 
let this guy fade out disgracefully. Instead, what I will say is, wake up, me too. Where have you been? You're letting too many things fly under the radar here. The music industry has not been scrutinized enough. And to the fans, know who you're idolizing. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.